Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I am back for another video. In this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys a gameplay with the brand new throwback playoff moments, Galaxy Opal, Chris Weber. Now, before we hop into the video, guys, I do want to give a quick shout out to my homie Vinny for letting me hop on a recording gameplay with his Opal Weber. He pulled him tonight, hop on and get some gameplay, guys. I will leave his Twitter link as the first link down below in the description. Make sure you guys go show him some love. Now, diving straight into it, you guys can see right here that 2K just dropped some brand new throwback playoff moments cards. They only dropped three Opals. I wish they gave us some more pink diamonds and diamonds and amethyst cards because there are still some budget balls at this time of the year. So, hopefully, next week when they release more throwback playoff moments, they can release some pink diamonds, diamonds, and amethyst cards because, like I said, there's tons of budget balls out there balling on a budget. But yeah, three Opals that they released today, you guys can see right here. One of them is this Galaxy Opal Chris Weber. The other is the Galaxy Opal John Havlicek. And the other is a Galaxy Opal John Stockton. Now, as you guys can see right here, we have this brand new Galaxy Opal Chris Weber on the screen in front of us today. And this Weber, I'm very, very excited to use because both Chris Weber cards, the Pink Diamond and Diamonds, were very, very good. And now that you know we're at the end, end of the year where 2K juices up every single everybody's attributes and badges now, I can't wait to see what they gave him and hop into some gameplay with him. And the card art on this Chris Webber card, guys, is on point. You guys see him flexing to the crowd. This picture probably came around 2001 because I'm sure a lot of you guys know back in the day, 2001 era, around that time. I don't know if it was exactly 2001, but like I said, I know it's around that time. Chris Webber and the Sacramento Kings had some insane playoff games against the Los Angeles Lakers. When it was Chris Webber and the Kings versus... You know, Shaq and Kobe, those playoff matches were insane. So, yeah, with that being said, guys, I'm sure this picture was taken around that time. Because, like I said, guys, he is a throwback playoff moments card. Now, before we hop into the gameplay of this card right here, we're going to check him out. Take a look at his badges and attributes, and then we'll get some gameplay. As he is standing in at 6'9", weighing in at 245 pounds, and his natural position, guys, his primary position is a power forward. As he does come with 21 total Hall of Fame badges, including one-man fast break, corner specialist, major range dead eye, brick wall, bruiser, difficult shots, pick and popper, chase an artist, Tyler score, catch and shoot, rip protector, lob city finisher, Hall of Fame posterizer, defensive stopper, acrobat, hustle rebounder, pick and roller, blendless finisher, post pin technician, drop stepper, and up and under specialist. He also does come with seven gold badges as well, including flashy passer, break starter, lob city passer, dimer, put back king, pick and pocket, charge card and then that rounds off the seven gold badges so moving right along and taking a look at his attributes wow that's incredible you guys can see right here right off the bat everything so far offensively is 98 98 standing layup 98 driving layup post fadeaway post hook post control drop fouls all at a 98 the open shot mid-range is at a 98 as well the open shot three is at a 96 96 free throw 97 driving 97 contact dunk as well as a 98 standing dunk Tendency wise, 100 when it comes to the dunking, so you know he's gonna be throwing down some insane dunks. Offensively, guys, this guy looks incredible. So, moving right along to his ball control, you guys can see it right here. It is at an 86, which means he's going to be a speed boosting big man. Moving right along, he does come with a 79 passing accuracy, 97 block, 98 shot contest, 89 steal, 98 offensive, and a 98 defense rebound. 91 speed, 80 speed with ball, 98 strength, 98 stamina, 90 lateral quickness, 84 pass perception, 98 defensive, and a 98 offensive consistency, as well as a 98 reaction time. Guys, I'm very, very impressed with this Chris Webber's badges and attributes. Without a doubt, he looks like an elite big man, easily a top 10 big man in the game, based off of his attributes. But we're going to take him in unlimited and see what he's all about, see what he can do in the game. So without further ado, guys, let's go get some gameplay. So take a look at my opponent's team right here as we found ourselves an opponent. He does have a really, really good team. Opal Lonzo, Opal Julius Irving, and then the rest of his starters include Pink Diamond Granger, Pink Diamond Porzingis, and Sabonis. It's going to be a Porzingis versus Weber matchup. Let's go. Let's give it to Chris Weber right off the bat. And let's run a high screen and roll big man and big man between Weber and Hakeem. Good screen. He's sagging off. The mid-range on the line is cash money for Chris Weber. So I off this game right. Chris, Chris Weber's making his first shot. My opponent left me wide open. Chris Webber's up to court. He's not back. Chris Webber burned Chris out to the bucket. He's going up and going all the way with a nice reverse slam dunk. Let's go. This man is doing his thing early on. Good rebound by Magic. Pushing the ball up to Chris Webber. And again, we're going to try and attack it. And Chris Webber right here is going all the way with the nice reverse double pump reverse clutch dunk. I don't really know what I said right there, guys. But that was a very cool dunk that Chris Webber just did. Good screen up top. And Webber right here is going all the way for the layup off the glass. We just keep burning Chris off to the bucket. He is too fast offensively for Kristaps to hang with us. Weber's wide open in the paint. He just left me open. Why are you going up like that? Okay, we'll take the layup. I didn't know why he just didn't want to dunk it, Weber. 
But you got the two points right there. Maybe nervous, but you got the points. I'm not complaining. Oh my goodness, we got an error code. In, in the middle of a game. In the middle of the second quarter, we for no reason, guys, we just got an error code. Which basically means now that we're going to get kicked out of the game and take an L for this game. Wow, this game is just... Uh, this game is just wow so unfortunately guys you know we took the l for that we got an error code mini game and unlimited but to make up for it, guys we're gonna hop into two triple threat games with this opal chris weber card and then we're going to call it a video so you yeah, found ourselves a matchup right here and he has a pink diamond scotty pippen pink diamond kd and opal john stockton hopefully we don't get kicked out of this game and we do our thing with weber and win this game Good evening by DeMarcus Cousins. Weber with that board. Let's go. Trying to take coast to coast right here with a foot of steam. Then trying to tap the left baseline. We're going to hop step through Scotty and make us mother layup. Okay, that's a great finish over that Scotty Pippen. Good D, Boogie. Good D. And good board by Chris Weber. We're going to try and take coast to coast right here. Chris Weber. The guy's going to stop and pop. 4 3 on the line. Bang! Let's go. You got to step up on this Weber card. He'll make you pay if you're sagging off every time. Oh, good D, Magic. Good to Chris Weber. And let's reset it up top. We don't really have anything. Let's try and reset it. Go to work on this Scotty. Good adaptation move. Looks like I'm getting off balled. It's all good though. Come set me a screen so I can try to work past this off ball. A good crossover move. Gonna attack it right here. Weber all the way. And he gets the open layup to go. Stockton tried to contest, but he's a little bit too small. Oh, good D magic. Good defense. Chris Weber is down. Let's go. Attack the paint right here with a foot of steam. Chris Weber is gonna go all the way again with another glitchy reverse slam dunk. Scotty Pippen almost got dunked on as he was stumbling to come up. We nearly get that inbound steal. Playing great basketball right now. Good look for Weber right here on the trail. 4-3, on the line, open, bang! Let's go, and just like that, for the first time, guys, this Chris Weber card has his takeover badges activated. And the two takeovers that he has are glass cleaning and sharpshooting. Good boy by DeMarcus Cousins. Up to Magic, we see Weber wide open. Weber catch and shoot from the left wing. And that's off, I can't believe he missed that. Give it back to him right here, though. Got Scotty jumping, fading to the left corner. That's a green! He's not missing a green. Chris Weber now with all of our 15 triple threat points. Let's give on going to work right here. Good crossover move. The paint's all open for us. Chris Weber's all clear for takeoff. Okay, this Chris Weber did that dunk, I believe, for like the third or fourth time now. He keeps on doing that dunk. And I'm kind of worried because I wish he had more animations if he only has that dunk. Because we get a steal on the three right there. Kind of kind of wasn't really commentating over that. Kind of was just, you know, in shock and in awe of Chris Weber's dunks because... He does the same ones every single time. Let's keep on going to work though with Weber. We're at game point. Gonna stop and pop from deep. Green light. Bang! And that's the game, guys. Chris Weber had 23 points in this triple threat game. It pretty much just carried us to the W. Let's go to work right here on Bogdan. Good hesitation move. Gonna walk it back. He's overplaying the drive. I'm gonna walk it back for three. Overplay the drive. Three pointers. Green. Let's go. This Chris Webber's release is smooth and cash money. Getting it to Chris Webber right here in the post on Bogdan. And that's another dunk. Let's go. Finally, a different dunk than the reverse dunks. That's about time we see some other than the reverses. Let's keep on going to work right here with Webber. He's intact to paint with foot of steam. And get that layup to go. Let's go. A lot of the contested layup is not going to stop Chris Webber. He's going to make all of them all game long. Got that steal. We have our takeover badges activated. Going to go up over Yao Ming in the paint. And that was a really bad idea. Really, really bad idea. Good look for Chris Webber right here on the trail. Go up to him, stop and pull on the line, and that's good. You got to step up on him. You can't leave Chris Webber wide open for three. Surprisingly, he's a big man with sharp shooting takeover, and that's rare. You don't see many big men, especially athletic big men like Chris Webber, who has sharp shooting takeover. You simply don't. Going to kick it up to him right here, stopping and popping, and Yao Ming doesn't get a contest in time. We get a green in Yao Ming's face. Oh, good steal by DeMarcus. Up to Weber. Weber's in the paint with an easy slam dunk. And now we have game point. We are one bucket away from winning this triple threat game as we get an inbound steal. Let's go. Gonna see Boogie in the paint. Back to Weber. Gonna attack Yao Ming and go all the way right here. Get a green light on that layup. That's game. Chris Weber is just too much of a beast in triple threat. We win both our triple threat games. So without a doubt, guys, Chris Weber had an amazing debut in Triple Threat. Unfortunately, Unlimited, we couldn't really see what he was made of because we got that error code. But, you know, without a doubt, guys, he did his thing in Triple Threat and showed why he is a very elite big man in NBA 2K19, my team. So moving on to the card review for this Galaxy Oba Chris Weber, I feel like he's only a 9.5 out of 10. He's a great card, guys, but I don't feel like he is a 10 out of 10 power forward. Personally, I think Anthony Davis is the best power forward in the game, and Anthony Davis is a 10 out of 10 card. You know, with that being said, guys, I think Opal Chris Weber is slightly below Anthony Davis in terms of skill, which is why I'm only going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. 
Anthony Davis, I feel like just simply has better animations and is obviously taller and has a better body tone. This Chris Webber card felt skinny on the court. He felt really, really skinny on the court. Like Anthony Davis, Anthony Davis would not get destroyed in the post. But if you put Porzingis on Webber or Yao Ming on Webber, they would destroy Webber in the post. But with Yao Ming got with Anthony Davis in the post guarding them, I feel like Anthony Davis would be a defensive anchor and stop them. Which is why I'm giving the advantage to Anthony Davis. I feel like Chris Webber is a 9.5 out of 10 card. And moving on to the question, how much would I pay for this card? I would not pay more than 100,000 MT. Honestly, I think he's a 100,000 MT card. You know, if you get him for under 100,000 MT, that's great. If you get him for over 100,000 MT, I wouldn't buy it. I would stay away from him over 100,000 MT. But yeah, guys, I'm pretty much wrap up the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you guys consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, drop a like. It's always greatly appreciated. Shout out again to my homie Vinny for letting me hop on a recording gameplay. We'll leave his link in the description. Now, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and it's YBC, and I'm out. Peace.